track light. I'm gonna do a videos on collars, working harness. Um, I get all my collars, working harness, my weight pull sled from Dixie Thaw Production. Um, he makes some of the best collars in the country. Some of the best. I'm talking about heavy duty buckles, heavy duty collars. Um, they don't break, they last forever. And his prices is reasonable for his collars. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to stay away from the bad collars too, for example. Um, this old collar I got from the flea market, you can see uh, that will break over time. It's not even welded together. And I just got this collar from the flea market because they were cheap. And I ain't know no better one time when I was just looking at them, I seen one of my dogs was changed up on it. And um, this here came loose. You see, it's not welded. It just came loose. I'm gonna show you how easy that um, you can get this stuff loose. And your, and your dog will be up the street running. It'll be up the street running. Gone bye bye, and you be looking for your dogs. Ah. But basically, you just see what I just did? When them dogs jerking on the chain, that'll come loose. All right, and um, this came from the flea market, and I got a bunch of them. Um, that's why I use these O rings right here. That's why I ain't got to worry about my dog getting off the chain. And you know, overall, they some okay collars, but it ain't nothing like Dixie Dog Production collars. They thicker, they better, they, they, they last longer. Um, they everything good in general. But if you go get collars from the flea market, check for stuff like this here on the collar. Um, over time, if the dog jerking the chain, that'll pull it out and you'll see, well, you'll be, you'll be sitting back there wondering how my dog got off the chain, but this is made out of a cheap piece of metal. Um, it just ain't no good. I can bend it back forward and that where it just open all the way up. And, and over time, when the dog jerking on the chain, you'll just see this just expand out. And your dog will bend it off the chain. So make sure you put your O-ring or something on there. Um, I got some old different types of O-ring too. We'll run that. Uh, I got one right here. Uh, you can use one of these here too. You just run it through the collar. But don't hook your dog up to this buckle here. Do not. Your dog gonna get off the chain. Uh, you can take one of these here. Uh, you can hook your dog up to it. You can hook your dog up to it. You can take one of these, but disregard that. But you can take a regular O-ring and hook your dog up to this here. All right. Um, I'm gonna show you another trick because you might get some of these collars that, uh, might not have enough hold to tighten it. I mean, to tighten the collar all the way down on the dog. And um, you'll be trying to cut it, but I'm gonna show you an easy way how to do that. Um, take your little blowtorch. I'll show you something. And uh, you crank up your blowtorch. Crank it up. Get this here nice and hot. You can poke holes in your collar to tighten it down on your dog. Get that nice and hot. And uh, I'm just gonna show you a little rough example on what I do when I wanna poke holes in the collar or something. Just show y'all something. And you can see it get nice, red, and hot. And you can poke holes, so they're gonna keep the collar from tearing all the way up because the nylon, it gonna get hard. It's like plastic, it gonna harden up, basically what I'm saying there. Right, and you can take your collar and just start poking your holes in. Like so, poke your hole in it, and you ain't got to worry about it going nowhere. It then harden up, and you can do that on both sides. So, when you don't got enough holes in your collar, you can do it just like that, and you can see the nylon. I mean, the collar is not going to tie up. It's just not going to tie up like this one. You know what I'm talking about? It's just not going to tie up. So that's a trick right there. Um, as you can see on this collar right here, it's the same thing. It gonna eventually come apart and your dog gonna get off the chain. So it just be who of that. Uh, and I'm finna put this here on my dog cause that collar, it just not no good. So this one of the Dixit Dog Production, you can see how thick the heavy duty material he make his collar out of. It's some of the best in the country. Now, um, 
this a regular working harness that I've been had for a long time. Not even a working harness, just a walking harness. You can just walk your dog on. Um, it's made out of leather. I got it from Amazon. It's, it's pretty good. Um, this one here. This ain't nothing but a cheap walking harness for your dog. Ain't nothing special about it. Uh, you can put them on the mill or whatever, but it ain't nothing special about it. Just so cheap and it's plastic. So over time, this this horn is gonna break. All right. Um, I'm gonna use this collar and I'm gonna show y'all how to use a proper harness. And this harness here, it came from Dixie Dog Production. Um, he sent me all this stuff. Best collar, and you can see his harness. Top of the line stuff. Um, heavy duty buckles. Um, heavy duty material. He got the great pan going in there. And um, his prices is all reason. But this here come from Dixie Production Dog. Make some of the best harness in the country. Um, if you want, if you if you want a harness, I recommend you get that from him. Um, I'm gonna show y'all how to proper use a harness. Not only that, I'm gonna show y'all how to proper um, set up the weight sled too, where you can pull stuff on it. And, uh, and I'm gonna show y'all some of the things that I use on mine. So check it out. Come here. This an old collar right here, so it's time, it's overdue. So I showed y'all a new way how to do it. New way. So I'm gonna get this old collar off. Hey, stay right there. This here come from Dixie Production Dog. Good collar. Good doable collar. Um, I showed y'all how to poke holes in the collar. It's real quick, uh, real simple. Buy your little blowtorch from out of Lowe's, uh, Home Depot, Walmart seller. You can go buy them things from anywhere. Make sure you buy your tip too to come with it. All right. And this collar here is retired. Make some of the best collars in the country. See, I'm gonna tighten it down and put some more holes in it for it to be all the way tight on my dog. But I was just showing y'all a way how, how, how to do it. Um, I'm gonna show y'all how to put on a proper harness. Hey, mama. Yeah. All right. Come here. Come here. It's simple, real easy. Real, real simple. All right. Okay, keep it. Make sure you tighten it up while you put it on. Secure all the buckles back down. Moving too fast. See? Like so. Alright, that's the proper way. Put it on. You're going to make sure the front chest pad is resting right there, especially when you're working the dog on a treadmill or anything. And you want to hook the buckles up right here. You got two buckles. I prefer to hook them up in the back. Um, they'll take a lot of pressure off the dog uh, when you run them on the treadmill or uh, whatever type of mill you like to use. They'll take a lot, a lot of pressure off of them. Now, let me show you how to hook up the sled. Stay right there, mom. Oh, let me put the... Uh, strap at the bottom moving a little bit too low fast make sure you secure the bottom strap all right you're gonna secure the bottom strap like so all right it's the weight pull today you're gonna hook it to the bottom to the back of it it got the o-ring hooks see it got the o-ring hooks all right and then just say if you want to use the chain, right? 
Hey, stay right down. Uh, hey, 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 cut it, cut it out. So, what I do, I take a hook. My chain, it hooked up. You can see. Come here. Turn around. Come over. You almost done, mama. Almost done. All right. From there, you take this here. You can hook it up. There go your setup. Just that simple. That's the proper use of how to use a harness, hook up the sled, and your piece of chain. Now, some people might want to use weight. Whatever, you can run your piece of chain through the weight, and you can hook it up the same way. And it ain't going nowhere. You can see the setup. See the setup. Track light. Hey, I, I just want to just give y'all a video on how I do things around here in my backyard. Um, track light pop. Bag. Yeah, when you want to burn more holes in your collar, put more holes in your collar. That's all you got to do right here. Buy your little torch. You see, I already put some more holes in there. Previous for the standing hole because I want to tighten my collar down. You know? I just want to just stick it down in there just like that. And you got to a perfect hole. And that gonna keep the collar from tearing up. That gonna keep it from tearing up. You see the hole? That gonna keep it from tearing up like this one. That's all you gotta do when you wanna put holes in your collars. Hey.